Welcome to a new episode of How To. My name is Armand and today our topic is how to edit and correct a mesh efficiently and quickly. In DEP Meshworks, the user is having access to a big bunch of tools enabling to edit and correct a geometry or a topology directly at the IFI level without the need of a CAD. Indeed, the philosophy of the software is to facilitate the manipulation, the creation and the modification of your model directly at the IFI level with the aim of giving more lead to the CAE engineer. Further to the generation of a raw mesh in the EP Meshworks, using for example the output of the auto plane mesh functionality on a complex part, we are going to look at some tools allowing to quickly correct and edit your model and get the desired geometry at the required locations. Firstly, we can have a look at the stitch functionality containing several useful methods. As an example, let's try the edge pair stitching. I'm selecting the first edge, then the second edge. As you can see, the two edges has been efficiently stitched using the snap to nearest option. Let's reset and try by switching which edge is the destination. As you can see, numerous variants are available and you only need to play a bit with the options to see all what is possible with this powerful tool. Before going to the next tool, I would like to show you the edge junction stitching. Select three or four edges and automatically they are going to be stitched together. That's very useful when working on complex plastic features like honeycomb patterns or else. In basic mesh, a toolbox containing a lot of quick and efficient automated functionalities exists named mesh editing. Let's have a look quickly at some of the tools like replace nodes, collapse levers, split, combine, swap, or align nodes. The replace node tool can be used to merge two nodes by giving a source and a target node. The equivalence can be done at the target node or at midpoint. It can be helpful to destroy little elements, for example. The multiple nodes option does the equivalence at the midpoint of every node selected like it is shown here if I choose these four nodes. Collapse Slivers is another useful tool when working on an output mesh generated from a CAD that hasn't been cleaned up before. A sliver is the name given to surfaces that are long and thin. Usually their thickness is smaller than your mesh size, this is the reason why you can't model it. Instead of taking time and cleaning it at the CAD level, you can collapse it directly at the IFI level. Look at this example. Then. You have access to the Split, Combine, Swap, Automated tool. You can split with few methods. In addition of that, you can split only EXA. If the direction didn't satisfy you, it's possible to flip it. The split can be propagated to adjacent element in line. You can interactively split shell elements by drawing a line on the screen. Or propagate the line to split your elements. Or also split by clicking on an edge. Another tool is Align Nodes. As you can see, it allows to align all the nodes you want based on the virtual line defined from your initial selection of two nodes. Now let's try one of my favorite tools, the feature insert functionality. This tool is enabling to insert 1D elements or nodes or group of nodes or an edge or a CAD line or directly a 2D feature into your 2D mesh base component. The possibilities are infinite. As an example, I can quickly draw a CAD line, whatever its shape, on my mesh and insert it. I'm using the shortcut for Create Line Tool. A nice S like this, for example. Create. Or I can also create a close potato shape like this. Create. And then, once my CAD line has been generated, I can come back to the Feature Insert tool to finalize the process. As you can see, my EFI base component has been remeshed locally to fit with the CAD line I drew. 
Another example is that I can insert a feature that I copied from another location in my model to paste and insert it at a new location. To do this, I'm firstly copy pasting the feature that I want and then I'm using the shortcut of the translate tool. I'm selecting what I want to translate and then I can either choose to manipulate on screen like this or to use different types of translation like the ve vector one. Translation is very useful if you need to quickly update some nodes or even a part. Other geometrical transformations are available in DEP Meshworks like the rotation, the scaling that are going to be shown in our video of the morphing. Once the translation is done, I'm coming back in the feature insert tool and I can insert the copy pasted feature at the new location. See? Several methods, smooth, sharp or advanced are available to insert your feature. Each user is having its favorite method. For instance, when using the smooth insert, you can choose cutter shells. When using the sharp insert, you can choose different type of insertion like nearest, tangential, nodal, or even user-defined direction. When using the advanced insert, you can choose between insert or cut execution. When you choose cut, your model will be newly organized based on the cutting you have done. If I'm trying on the potato shape that I created just before, we obtain this output. An important geometrical transformation that I didn't mention earlier is the projection. This is a very important tool in Meshworks for quick update of your model. This tool is available in the tool tab and also in the mesh editing functionality. For example, sometimes after manipulating the model, it might happen that some parts of the mesh are no longer fitting with the CAD initial geometry. Very easily, you can fix this. This tool can be applied to both CAD or FE entities. You can choose what entities is the source and what is the target. The projection method allows to choose the way to project the source. The most used are the two first ones. The snap to nearest method projects the source entities to the target along the shortest distance. The snap to nearest along allows with the auto mode to choose the direction of projection and the source will be snapped along the direction specified. If some nodes are required to follow the source nodes, we can select those nodes as dependent on nodes. Hope you enjoyed the presentation of those tools in DEP Meshworks enabling to quickly edit directly at the EFI level a model. Now that you understood the philosophy of the software, feel free to practice and try all the other numerous tools available. This is how the episode number 5 of our series concludes. DP Meshworks is a software developed by CA engineers for CA engineers. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us at email at dpeurope.com. We'll be happy to support you to solve your modeling problem as fast as possible. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.